Look older than eight weeks. Kate revealed creepy detail about Archie and baptism. Meg tried to hide something. The tweet goes into great detail of the timing of the actual photo. It was taken in May at 1 minute to 11 at night, but edited a month or two later and then shared with the public. I read it as the empty room was taken as a photo in May and then the people were shopped into the background image a month or so later. The strange proportions were immediately noticeable, like why Kate and William 1.5 times everyone else? And the colours and lighting seemed very strange, like a very Norman Rockwell painting vibe. It just looked so odd to me, but I thought maybe it was just some British royalty thing. Now I'm wiser and suspect that it's more foolery from the Harkles. There was never a gathering. Folks were copied and pasted in from other portraits. Kate's face, while beautiful, is asymmetrical. The source said, With her experience, Kate affirmed that Archie looks much older than two-year-old boy. It's very unusual the way Megan holds the baby also makes a wonder with such a wrong position, which certainly makes the baby felt uncomfortable for a long time would make Archie cry. But no, the baby was too good and quiet during the ceremony. Even the strange things don't stop there. Megan asked the royal photographer to send her a private file of all the photos first, and then she later gave it to the palace to post a statement on the royal website. Damn, what is she doing that for? To edit? To remove traces before it's revealed that Archie's fake? Everyone has known they were photoshopped since they came out. The original dates on the pictures don't match Harry and Meghan's story. That baby is not two months old. He's at least four months old, because he's holding his own head up. The problems in the picture were pointed out when they came out years ago. It's odd that Archie changes and looks quite dramatically for each photo. I always wondered about the missing chair leg among other things. Catherine is as light as a wisp, but she's the damned consort in waiting and deserves a whole chair. Especially since this is a palace and not a furniture rummage. I've just had a look at all the christening photos of Archie, Lily and Harry, and a lot of Archie are actually photoshopped in. There's one of supposedly Archie being held by someone in royal blue, which is exactly like one on Diana's lap of Harry, and she's wearing royal blue in the same positioning. The photo of Lily has Meghan in the same dress and hat she wore, for supposedly Archie's and Harry's wearing that same grey suit and tie. Whether or not one loves a conspiracy theory, there are some baffling circumstances surrounding the births of Archie Harrison. Here are a few puzzling points for our quizzical eyes. On the afternoon of May the 6th, 2019, it was announced that Meghan had gone into labour in the early hours of the morning. But only 20 minutes later, it was reported that she gave birth to Archie at 5.26am. The announcements had very strange wordings. One said the Duchess of Sussex had been delivered of a son, rather than that she delivered a son. Another said, the Duke of Sussex was by Her Royal Highness's side. This latter statement has not been corrected on the official palace website. The Royal Baby Bulletin did not have the doctor's signature or details of where the birth took place. These details are normally included in royal births and could be found for all the Cambridge's children. While presenting two-day-old Archie to the press, Harry was asked who he looked like the most, and he said, Everyone says that babies changed so much over two weeks, causing people to speculate that Archie was actually two weeks old.